Another web development component that Bootstrap provides a ton of help with is the creation of forms. Bootstrap comes with form styling that looks really clean and organized, and of course has a lot of options for customization. Let's create a sign-up form for our company. First, let's pull up our index.html file that we've been working with, and we'll add a link to our nav bar where people can access our sign-up form. So why don't we put this as the last link on the form after our about link here in our unordered list. You can copy that and paste it, and then replace about with sign up. And we'll go ahead and create another page for this. So let's give this the href signup.html. Go ahead and save that. Go back to your site and refresh real quick. Just make sure it's showing up the way it's supposed to. Now let's go to our file system. And we're just going to copy index.html and paste it in. And we're going to rename it signup.html. Once you've done that, go ahead and open signup.html in your code editor. And let's go way down here to the main body of our page. We're going to get rid of this what can trust hub do for you area. We're going to keep the sidebar within this row. And within this div, let's get rid of this h2 header and this paragraph. And that should be all we need to remove. Go ahead and save that. Then go up here, back to our nav bar very quickly. And let's take off the active class from our home link. And we're going to add the active class to our signup link just for good measure, because this is the active page when we're on the signup page. Save that. Go back to your site one more time. Refresh. Now, click on sign up. And you should be taken to your sign up page, which currently has a big empty block in the middle. And sign up should be active. Once you have all this squared away, we'll start creating our form. So to create a basic bootstrap form, we're going to start off with the form tag. We'll go ahead and go down here and close that. And for your forms in bootstrap, each field of your form needs to be contained in a div with the class form hyphen group. And we'll go ahead and go and close that div down here. And again, for a basic bootstrap form, this form group div is going to contain two elements, your label and your input. We can go ahead and just put some empty ones here. Label and input, which you don't have to close, or rather it closes itself. And now we'll start expanding on this. So this first label, let's say we want this to be for our username that we're creating. We're going to start this off with the for property equals and let's go with form username in camel case and then for the actual label itself we'll do create a username now for the input we're going to do type this is simply going to be a text field so type equals text and every input on your bootstrap form needs to have the class form hyphen control. So we'll remember that. Then you need to give it an ID that matches the for property that we provided in the label. So in this case, that's going to be form username. And optionally, we can have placeholder text. We'll just use username here. So here's our first field. Let's go create another one. We'll put a space in between the divs to keep it readable. Div class equals, once again, form group. I'm going to close this so I don't forget. Label for equals, let's do form email. 
and the label is going to be your email address. Close that. The input type equals email. This is going to help with validation, as we'll see in a minute. Class, as we discussed earlier, needs to be form control, or it needs to at least contain form control. That needs to be at least one of the classes. An ID to match our for property, form email. And our placeholder text, we'll just use email. Note that the IDs we're providing here, form username, form email, these are not provided by Bootstrap. These are sort of arbitrary. We can put whatever we want here. We just need to make sure that the ID for our input matches the for property on our label. Let's do one more field. Div, and I'm going to go ahead and close it because I tend to forget to do that. The div needs the class form group. And label for equals, we'll do form camel case password. And for the text here, we'll do create a password. Close our label tag. And for our input tag, we're going to do type equals password. So we get the little dots when we type it in and not plain text that anybody can read over our shoulder. Class equals, you guessed it, form control, ID to match our for property, form password. And we're not going to worry about any placeholder text on this one. Close that. Make sure you've got your closing div here. And one final thing before our form is complete, we need a button. So open the button tag, type equals submit. And we need to give our buttons the class btn. We're also going to provide btn hyphen default. This btn default, we have a couple of options on what we can use here. We're going to use default this time. What you use here mainly pertains to the color of the button. We'll talk about this a little bit more later, but for now we're just going to use button default. Close that, then we need the button text. Let's go with sign me up. And then close our button tag. Make sure you have your closing form tag. And I'll go ahead and remove this extra line here. Save your file. Go back. Make sure you're on your sign up page. Refresh. And it should look like this. Look how we have a nice, neatly laid out form. Here's our placeholder text. Here's our label. We can type in our name. Now watch this. I'm going to give it a junk email address that isn't even an email address. There's no at symbol, no dot anything. When we type in our password, it shows up all in dots. If I click sign me up right now, I get a little pop-up saying that I'm providing an invalid email address and it gives me a little help as to exactly what's wrong. When that goes away, I can also hover over it and I get a little pop-up this way as well. Of course, our form doesn't do anything because we need to get into PHP to start processing that stuff, and that's outside the scope of this tutorial. But for the front end, this is how you create a basic bootstrap form.